Good morning everyone, welcome back in my channel again. Guys, I still got so many questions about PSP setups and I decide to do just guide for PSP. We're gonna use two emulators and after update we have two different emulators. It's PPS, SPP, but it's two different standalone emulators. I'm gonna show you both of them, how it's working, what you can change, how you can improve it. But first, and the basic question for you guys, did you update your system? That's the most important if you want this performance, which one I've got on my videos. If you have original system, which is coming with this console, you're never gonna get this, doesn't matter what you're gonna do, why? Because from 2022, which that Arcos been just downloaded on this original card, was tons of improvements of different system, included PSP. First, just flash new system on new cards, not that card which one you've got with that uh, particular device. Why? Because I'm always saying to every single video that original cards, which one we've got here, are very cheap, are very bad quality. If you want to be sure your system will work properly, you need to buy the card. I'm going to put the link on the description how to flash new system on your card. I'm going to put also link on the description how to update by Wi-Fi or without Wi-Fi. And just follow the steps, guys. It's very easy if you follow in one by one to make this update. That's the first step what we're going to do and the first step you have to do. Yeah, update your console to my same update. I've got from, as you see, from 27th of January and this got two options. OK, let's start it. I'm going to show you those two emulators. You're going by start to emulator settings, A, then we're going to Sony PlayStation Portable. Emulator, we've got two emulators, standalone and standalone 2011. When you put auto, sometimes system just decide to use standalone, sometimes standalone 2011. My preferences, and I'm gonna go, not gonna lie, you guys, I'm using standalone, not 2011. It doesn't, sorry, 2021. It doesn't make massive difference, guys. First, we're gonna go by standalone. This means that, that one, which one everyone got, even on the old system. And I will show you how to set up everything properly. Okay, we're going by standalone. Go back. And the game, which I'm, I'm gonna show you, it will be God of War. And at this moment, I'm, I will show you how it's working out of the box without any changes, Gods of War. Okay. Hmm. You can't play like that, yeah? It's impossible to play. Then we go into PPS SPP menu, click that joystick, go to settings. First, what we're gonna do, turn off that V-Sync or whatever. Then, frame skipping on one. Number of frames, we live in a, how it is, auto frame skip. That's what we're doing. Then, curves quality low. That's how to be. Then we're going down. Harder trans transform. Yes. Software skinning. Yes. Upscale level. It shouldn't be any upscale levels. Just put it off. And filtering also have to be off instead of time 16. And now we will see what is going on. Okay. Now it's playable. As you see, of course, there's not gonna be in 30 FPS, but as you see, it's quite okay to play, yeah? As I said before, you can set up this to make this game 
playable. If it's still choppy, for example, for you guys, it's more demanding game, just go back to settings again. Okay, wrong button. Go to settings again. And you can put the frame skip time 2. Sometimes even times 3. Some games even with times 3 working much better. It's not so choppy. You can check times 2. If it's still fine for you. Oh, as we see now, when I put times 2. 15, 18, sometimes 19. When I have times 1 was just always up to 1. Well, working better than before. Display layout and effects. Why? I will show you. Originally, we've got that kind of screen. Okay, some people like to... Let me put this a little bit lower volume. Some people like to have original size, but I like to put the full screen. How to go there? Just click that joystick. Go to display layout and effect. Then just scroll down first. Go to right and go up. You cannot do just straight away to the right. Click stretch. Then go back. A is back here. And B is confirmed. You see, now we've got full screen. That's another option which one we can do. Another story. Some people have problem with controls sometimes they click in right is going left left is going right up is going down and down is going up go to settings again i'm just put the wrong one button go to seconds settings sorry then second option is controls go there then you've got control mapping and you can change here on the right side every single button you can just swap them over if you want it, yeah? For example, I'm gonna make a little bit messed up. Where's joystick? I will put analog left, I will do right. Right. And now left. I just done it in purpose to show you what's going on. You see that? I put the left, it's going right, it's a right, it's going left. That's why, if you got that problem, just go to your menu, then settings, but where is that? Then settings, controls, and we're gonna go back to right one. This means analog down is okay. Analog left. Remember, don't change the first option, change the second one, yeah? Second option. This means on the bottom. Okay, we're going left. We're going right. Then we're going back. Back again. Continue. And now we've got proper controls, yeah? That's how it is working. Is everything about that. Another very important option is sometimes you haven't got sound. When you turn on PSP, is no sound at all. Even you put the volume up, it's still not sound. Is another story. Go again. Go to settings again. You've got audio, and sometimes for some reason you've got global volume mute. When you turn on this game as a new. Straight away, sometimes it's going for mute, and you're confused why is no sound if you put press the button for maximum. Then remember to go to audio settings, global volume, just change for 10, that's it, and your game will work with sound together, yeah? Another option which one you can have from PPSSPP is cheats. You've got cheats. Okay, we go in there. You have to click import from PSP cheat. I will put the link on the description because what you need to do on your games card, on your games card, you go into folder named PSP, like you've got PSP games, 
Down there you've got folder of the name PPSSPP and another folder cheats. When you download that cheat DB, even you've got that PSP cheats and cheats DB. That's how it does on the computer. When you download that cheat DB, you have to just drag that file to PSP cheats cheat DB on your games card. And once you do this, just go ah, just go to settings. As I always mixed up this, go to settings, then you go into system, and you have to scroll down up to up to up to up to option enable cheats, because what you've got in the beginning you haven't got that option. That's 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 the basic. That's how you've got it. This means you have to put this as enabled on system. Again, scroll down, and it's turned up on our menu. Yeah. Then you go into cheats, click import from PSP. I've got because I already did this. Then because in the beginning you haven't got anything. When you import that, then it's showing up the cheats which one is possible. To get this on this game, you've got some um, FPS fixed. You've got some cheats like one hit kill or pff, some open hidden elements. It depends of the game is different cheats. Sometimes it's graphical cheats. Sometimes you've got proper game cheats. Yeah, then you have a like unlimited life or or power or you can kill someone by one hit. It depends. When you put that in, it's supposed to be straight away. Okay, another thing is guys. Um, to show you how to load the safe, load states, save states. You go into menu. If you want to save state at this moment, just click here. It's highlighted. It's saving now. State been state been saved, yeah? Then you want to load it up and continue the game later on. Joystick. Go to the, this picture, it's highlighted around, click load state, and you see it's loaded up in the moment when I just stop it, yeah? Okay, that's it about that one, I will go to another one and I will show you this uh, standalone 2021 now. If you wanna go out. Click joystick, exit to menu, or you can click it twice here. Okay, now we're going to emulate your settings again, and we change standalone 2021. It is some different, you will see. Okay, go back. Then start and we will go to the same game again. We've got Gado's War on default settings again, which is unplayable as you see. Again, the same story. And is one completely different option here, which will make a difference and some people cannot play the games properly if they're not gonna change this. I will show you. First of all, we're going to settings again. A little bit different menu, as you see, from the beginning is different options, not in the same order like was before. Frame skipping again, we need to put the one, auto frame skip, and this is the difference, force max FPS. Guys, if you got auto, sometimes it's flying up, flying down, whatever. When you put 10, I'm gonna show you something. Okay, we're going downstairs, rendering resolution times one, which is okay. No fans or vsync. Okay. This is supposed to be low curves. Upscale level we don't want. Off. And filtering we don't want again. Off. And that's it. We're going back. Guys, you see that one? Even I've changed everything. 
is still choppy as three dots. <laughs> okay, you're going back there. Settings. And you're going down to that option. I've changed for 40. Make difference, yeah? Okay, we're going around 50 FPS here. So, as I said, this game is not running maybe perfect, but with all these changes, it's playable, yeah? It is playable. It's about this 15 FPS mostly is going. Which is not which is not bad for the device. It's some basic options guys. You know, you need to realize this cannot be pushed so much because this is very cheap uh, chipset. But some games sometimes guys you can put the frame skip in two or three or sometimes one. But yeah, some games not demanding. You can go to rendering resolution and change it for times two. It will be looks better. But not many PSP games can be done like that on that device as we know about that. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you very much for your attention. See you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.